Hey, it's Mike over at FisherAssOff.com and today what I'm doing is answering some of the frequently asked questions that are on the internet about my Fab Five favorite fish that I like to catch. Uh, tarpon, redfish, snook, speckled trout, and flounder. And today's question I'm going to answer is why do you battle a tarpon? Everyone hears that. Oh, when you're catching tarpon, you got to battle the king. Why? Well, the answer is pretty simple. You know, a tarpon, uh, they're my favorite fish to catch. And the reason is because they're jumping and flipping and spinning. They're just such great fighters, you know, shaking their heads and trying to cut the line and wrap it around them, all kinds of things. So, the reason why you're bowing to the king, you don't have to bow to the king. All it's saying is when you're fighting a normal fish, you keep your rod tip high usually, right? You're trying to keep pressure on them. Well, when it comes to a tarpon, you want to keep pressure on them, but as soon as they jump, you point your rod tip at the fish. Point it at them. You want a little slack in there so they can't cut your line or break your line. You want to reduce the tension on the line. So, so you're, you're, you're fighting them, he jumps, you point it, and then when he lands back in the water, you go back to fight him again, he jumps again, you point it. You don't have to <laughs> bow the cave. But here, here's my little guy here. So, this guy's doing it wrong. This guy's keeping his rod tip high and the tarpon is out of the water. So, he's got a much better chance of losing the tarpon than this guy down here. When the tarpon jumped out of the water, he pointed his rod right at the fish. So, he decreased the te tension in the line when he pointed the rod at the fish. So that's really all it means. So when, when someone says, you know, why, why do you battle with tarpon? All you're doing is pointing the rod tip at the tarpon. You don't have to do anything. Just point your rod tip every time they jump. It's going to give it a little slack in the line. And then you get the slack back as soon as they land. I hope that answered the question. So until next time, we'll see you then. All right. Bye-bye.